Well, it's Friday. It means Curtis buys and tries it. And tonight, he is trying the super battery. I don't know about this thing. Here it is. Looks like you go fishing with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We've tried a couple gadgets that makes it look like you're going fishing. It's got a light on it, too, right? It's got a little light, a little flashlight. It's supposed to last for some time. But does it really last? Hmm. It's an external power pack you could take on the go, and it's got the cranking feature, too, where you can keep it charged. But does it live up to its claims? Meet a couple of self-proclaimed geeks. That's Dustin. Geeks and nerds have come out of the closet. <laughs> However, I'm an extremely geeky nerd. And this is Gina, who doesn't want to be mistaken for a nerd. I think nerds are, like, the bottom of the barrel. And then there's the, the geeks are cool, you know what I mean? The geeks are one step up from nerds? That's right, and then the dorks are even better. They are extreme geeks, as in they work at Rancho Cordova's Extreme Geek Store, where they sell the latest gadgets like roll-up keyboards. Wow. And this reclining technological masterpiece that lets you sit back and play video games in comfort. Hey, do you see that car went right through mine? If it's new technology, they got it. You're passionate about technology. I sure am. I love my job. So we decided they should test the new Super Battery, a power pack you could use to charge up your cell phone, iPod, even PDA. It says you can power your gadgets anywhere and anytime. A bold claim, we'll find that out. You charge the Super Battery by plugging it in, or in an emergency it says you can actually generate power by cranking it. When you get stranded somewhere and the bars deplete, you can add them back. Before trying it out, we carefully follow the directions, plugging it into the wall for 12 hours. Fully charged, we decide to see if it really supplies power to our gadgets. It comes with adapters for certain cell phones. It woke up. First, we plug in this phone, and sure enough, it starts charging. But when we test two more phones, we quickly realize there is not an adapter that fits them. It doesn't seem to want to fit in there. And on our fourth phone, there is an adapter. But check this out. It says it's not charging. Hmm. How about when we plug in the super battery to an iPod? It's drinking the juice. It's charging. But what we're really curious about is this crank feature. It says for two minutes of cranking, you get five minutes of cell phone talk time or two minutes of music play on an iPod. So we leave these geeks with a task of draining the super battery and a cell phone and iPod. We come back a couple days later and put it to the test. Two minutes of cranking starts now. Remember, two minutes of cranking, we're supposed to get five minutes of talk time. Pretty easy. Do you feel kind of goofy doing this? No, I feel good. Feel that cranking burn. <laughs> One more minute. Ten, nine, four, eight, three, two, and one. That's it. You did it. All right. Feel like you accomplished something? <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Time to plug in the super battery. Sure enough, it starts charging the phone. So Dustin calls his wife, but he gets voicemail. To make sure we test the claim fully, he has to leave a five-minute long message. I love you, honey. <laughs> How are the kids doing? Remember that day I met you at the ski resort? We were both set up on a blind date. Four and a half minutes to go. Our two particles were very, very close together, and I feel incredibly lucky now that it's all exploded. I found my particle. It died. It died. Just two minutes in, and the cell phone dies, far short of the five minutes. So how does it work on a dead iPod? This time we let Gina crank for two minutes to see if we get two minutes of playtime. The power comes on, we press play, and guess what? Nine seconds into the song, it dies. No full two minutes of music, as it says. So in the end, this is their advice to anyone thinking about buying the super battery. If you plug this device in the night before into your AC wall adapter, that it will charge your products, but maybe not as a hand cranking feature. For an emergency device, if I was stuck somewhere after an earthquake, trapped, and all I had was this, I'd crank my heart out, and I think it would charge this up and up. Now, remember, it does say the cranking should be just for an emergency. As for adapters, it comes with a couple, and you could go online and buy more. If you need one to fit your phone, the super battery retails for about 45 bucks. Okay, so here's my question with this. If you're going to plug this in all night to, to work, 
why wouldn't you just plug in your phone all night? But it really, it's for the emergency. <laughs> if you can't plug in, if an earthquake happens, you don't have any electricity, well, that's why we that's want to do that. That's a good point. It's like we have backup right. batteries, so right. if you're out camping, you're out somewhere right. stranded, and you can't charge your phone, you have a backup battery to charge mm -hmm. your okay. phone. And it did work in that situation. Yeah, it sort of works, right. Just keep cranking all night, too, yeah. if you have to. Right. Yeah. And good. Your, your guy there, I'm sure his wife is totally loving him after that message as well. She's like, man, that was... he, yeah, he thinks the world of me tonight, a five-minute message. Something about particles coming together, That's I don't know, I got lost. I